All right, so now we got a donation request from, I don't know his name, but somebody from Japan wanted me to check out Galnerius Live. And I don't know what this song is called because it's in Japanese. Everything is in Japanese. But uh, let's check it out. Check it out. I believe this was a singer from Galnerius. Hold on, hold on. This is a. I think this is Led Zeppelin, right? A Led Zeppelin cover, right? Sound quality is a little bit. Hey, listen, one thing I have to say about this whole Japanese thing. What I like about it is, look at look at the people. They all got their own individual weird outfits and, and styles, and they, they love to embrace that. And I love that because that reminds me of the 80s. Maybe this is in the 80s, I don't know. But in the 80s, people looked very unique, you know?
ですよねだからああっつったとこなんか楽器で,楽器で教えてありがとうだって言うな You know, I always like that about the Japanese.、Uh, they, a lot of them sound like a samurai warrior. Ha ha ha! Takiro Shopping at Jara! I think Japanese, especially when spoken in, in those samurai ways, is amongst the manliest languages. You know? Testosterone. <laughs> Sounds really testosterone、uh, filled language. And listen, I always say this I don't know how you guys, you, you know, your letters. <clears throat> You, I don't know how you can write those letters because to me, who doesn't know the language, it looks like fucking paintings, you know? Like I would sit 15 minutes with one letter, you know, trying to get it right. You know, I, mean, I don't know how you do it. But、uh, great performance by him, for sure.、Uh, very, his voice was very thick, like、uh, the tone was. Thick. And I actually think, and granted, I'm not the biggest, biggest、uh, Led Zeppelin fan at all. But I, I actually, I've heard this song, and I think he did a better job than uh, Ro- uh, Robert Plant, right? Robert Plant. I think his, his vocals w a s more, the, the tone was more full, you know? But I did like the other songs more. There was one song in between there that I liked more than, than this song. But、uh, this looks like a music talk show or something. TV show, music TV show.、Uh, I would guess maybe it's not 80s, probably 90s, early 90s, mid 90s, or late 80s. But yeah, very good job. And you know what I think about g a l n e r i u s very super talented band.、Uh, Like, w- when I think about Galnerius, there are more songs that I like than that I don't. There is more songs that I do, do like with Galnerius. Like, I would say 80% that I like, and maybe 20% that I didn't like too much. But the absolute talent in that band is CU, is fantastic, and so is the keyboardist. And he is great too.、Uh, but I guess this was probably in a, more closer to his prime, the singer. And one more thing I, I also liked with him was、uh, his pronunciation was pretty good here, you know? Like the English words, he pronounced, them, pr- pronounced it pretty good. Usually that tends, tends to be a, a, a problem for Japanese singers to. To sing English, especially the R, right? Because、uh, I believe they say Japanese people have a hard time saying the R, R, R. So they say lound instead of round. They say lound one. I know that. In, 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 I don't know if it's video games or what. 
round one instead of round one. But uh, he did a good job uh, making good pronunciation. And listen, I will say this. One of my favorite composers outside of, you know, stuff that Galnerius has done is from Japan. And it's for a video game called Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I believe it's a female composer uh, from Japan. That's some of the best compose compositions I've heard. Like, Go listen to Castlevania Symphony of the Night uh, soundtrack. Still to this day, I listen to it. It's fantastic. But uh, thanks for that, wh wh whatever your name was. And uh, I appreciate it. Uh, see you next time.